Greetings programs. Today we're going to take a look at the Tron Light Cycle Run replica helmet uh, as worn by Samson in the arena sequence. The helmet itself is a replica of what was seen on screen. The screen used helmet in the Disney archives was used as reference. It was digitally scanned to help replicate this helmet. The helmet is made up of uh, two different components. The outer visor, which is a blue tinted transparency material. And then the inner helmet, which is a nice satin black hard plastic. All the details uh, on the screen use helmet are also on this helmet replica. Uh, this can be found in Tomorrowland outside the Tron Light Tackle Run roller coaster. Uh, in the Launch Depot store. It can also be found in other stores around the park uh, for $59.99 plus tax. Uh, great price for this helmet, for the uh, replica. Uh, it does have lights and sounds. Uh, activated right inside here by the switch. Uh, switch down will give you just lights. Uh, moving the switch up will give you lights and sounds. I'm going to switch it down just to show you the lights. Everything's activated by this ear cup on the right hand side. Press it and you will get the lights. They'll stay on for about a minute or two uh, and then they'll shut off for battery saving feature. Uh, there are 15 LEDs within the helmet to illuminate the areas that need to be illuminated. And I'll show the lights and sounds. Switch all the way up. Also activated, same way. Now with the lights and sounds, the lights are actually animated with the sounds. So you get a thrumming type of animation. As far as I can tell, there are six different sounds to go with the lights used in this feature. Now the helmet uh, does come with some padding on the inside. Three adding circles here that are velcro adhered to different spots. You can adjust them uh, for comfort. Uh, they, they won't really hold the helmet tight to your head, um, but they will allow for uh, comfort against this very hard shell of the helmet. Uh, and with the light and sound feature, it does stay illuminated pretty much as well for for a good amount of time until that battery saving feature turns off. And then you can just tap it again to activate the sound and lights. And a, lot of, a lot of these visors do come um, uh, with a little bit of damage, some scratches on it. I'm going to try one of the repair products I have, see if I can get rid of it, and then I'll report back in the description to see if it worked. Uh, overall, this is a great helmet. Uh, it's a helmet I've waited like since the film came out to get. Uh, I never thought we'd see it replicated. Um, hopefully, uh, Disney has success with this helmet and we do get other helmets from the line. Uh, Rensler, or got Clue. These are fan-made replicas, uh, quality helmets. Uh, but it's always great to have even more different versions of a helmet. I've actually got two different Renslers. Um, and I'll have a Sam Flynn helmet to add to the collection. The helmet does fit and wear very comfortably. Um, vision is good. See just fine. Uh, I think myself, I'm going to add some padding to it to have more of a motorcycle helmet feel. But once again, awesome helmet for the price point. I really can't believe that we got it. Uh, please, if you're a Tron Legacy fan, Tron fan, motorcycle fan, 
go and grab one of these. Uh, it's just a really cool piece just to have in that collection. Um, so hopefully we'll get more of them. You know, we won't have an end of line for these helmets. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope this informs some people. Um, some people didn't know that there was life and sounds, but it does have it. So uh, go to the park, enjoy the ride, buy the merch. Love Trump. <laughs>